the words of the Lord as we receive Him. Give God a big hand of praise. Pastor, big praise here. Please come. With a hand up in there, Pastor. And praise the Lord, everybody. Purina Dios and a hand. Expecting God to do great and mighty things. We look together at 1 Samuel chapter 9 and verse 1. And while you are turning there, I'd like to thank all of your leadership. These wonderful men of God. For their great kindness to me. It is my great honor to be with you this week. And I thank you for allowing me to minister the word of the Lord. To brother and sister Buckland. Okay, brother and sister Buckland. Brother and sister Robertson. Okay, brother and sister Robertson. And Matthew Buckland. Okay, brother Matthew Buckland. These are people that I love and appreciate very, very much. Brother and Sister Mallory as well. Sorry. Brother and Sister Mallory, I may be. Amen. First Samuel chapter 9 and verse 1. Unang Samuel kapitulo 9 na natang puno. Now there was a man of Benjamin whose name was Kish, the son of Abiel, the son of Zeror, the son of Mekarot, the son of Aphiah, a Benjamite, a mighty man of power. May isang lalaki nga sa Benjamin na ang pangalay Sis. Na anak ni Abiel, na anak ni Shior, na anak ni Pichora, na anak ni Apaya, na anak ng isang Berhamita, na isang makapangyarihan lalaki na may papang. And he had a son, a whose, name, whose name was Saul, a choice young man and a goodly. And there was not among the children of Israel a goodlier person than he. From his shoulders and upward, he was higher than any of the people. At siya'y may isang anak na lalaki na ang pangalay Saul or Saul, isang bata at magisig. At sa mga anak ni Israel ay walang lalong magisig na lalaki kaysa kanya. Mula sa kanyang mga balikat at hanggang sa paitaas ay lalong mataas siya kaysa sino man sa bayan. And the asses of Kish, Saul's father, were lost. Kish said to Saul, his son, take now one of the servants with thee, arise and go seek the asses. At ang mga asno ni Sis, na ama ni Saul, ay nawala. At sinabi ni Sis kay Saul, na kanyang anak, ipagsama mo ngayon ang isa sa mga pataan, at ikaw ay kumindig, at hanapin mo ang mga asno. Verse number 19 of that same chapter. Sa ganun din kapitulo sa talatang 19. And Samuel answered Saul and said, I am the seer. Go up before me unto the high place, for ye shall eat with me today, and tomorrow I will let thee go. Please notice the last part of that verse. And will tell thee all that is in thine heart. Sa talatang 19, ang sabi ng mananakasulatan at sumagot si Samuel kay Saul, at nagsabi, Ako ang kagapita, umahong kang magpauna sa akin sa mataas na damo, sapagkat kakain kang kasano ko ngayon, at kinaumagahan ay payayaunin kita 
at sasaysayin ko sa iyo ang lahat na nasa loob mo. For Samuel chapter 10 and verse 5. Sa unang Samuel kapitulo 10 talatang 5. After that thou shalt come to the hill of God where is the garrison of the Philistines. And it shall come to pass when thou art come thither to the city that thou shalt meet a company of prophets coming down from the high place with a psaltery and a tabray and a pipe and a harp before them and they shall prophesy. Pagkatapos ay narating ka sa puro ng Diyos na nandoon ang isang kulutong ng mga ilisyo at mangyayari pagdating mo roon sa bayan na magkakasalubong ka o magkakasalubong ka ng isang kulutong ng mga propeta na lumulusong mula sa mataas na dago na may salterio at pandireta at plauta at alpa sa harap nila at sila ay magsisipang ulam. And the Spirit of the Lord will come upon thee and thou shalt prophesy with them and shall be turned into another man. At ang Spirit ng Panginoon ay magamangyarihan sa sayo at maguhula kang kasama nila at ikaw ay magiging ibang lalaki. I'd like to preach this afternoon upon this thought. Nais kong daling sa inyong mga salita ng Diyos sa ganitong kaisipan. There is more in you than you know. May mas higit pa na nasa iyo kaysa nalalaban mo. Turn to someone near you. Ibalik mo yung mga sa katabi mo. And tell them there's more in you than you know. At sabihin mo sa kanya na may mas bagay pang nasa iyo kaysa nalalaban mo. Come, let's lift our voices and pray aloud. Ay lahat ay mananamin sa ating Panginoon. Sige, pas natin ang ating mga kinig sa ating pananalamin. O Diyos na mga pangyarihan sa lahat. And you may be seated. Kayo po'y makakaugulan. The story that we have read together. Ang mga talaga na ating nabasa ngayong hapon. Is the story of a young man named Saul. Ay ito yung isang pangyayari matungkol sa isang tao na gangalang si Saul. In the process of becoming the first king of Israel. Na ito yung bago po siya maging unang hari ng bansang Israel. Now Saul does not begin as a king. Ang daan po namin na si Saul ay hindi nagpasimula bilang hari. Actually far from it. Sa totoo lang ay malayo po siya sa magiging hari. Saul is the son of a powerful man. Si Saul na isang anak ng isang mga pangyarihang tao. But not a religious man. Pero hindi religyosong tao. Saul doesn't seem to know very much about God at all. At si Saul ay walang higit na unawa patungkol sa Diyos sa masimulang. He doesn't seem to know much about the man of God. At wala siyang kaunawaan o kapahayagan patungkol sa tao ng Diyos. He seems to know very little about the things of God. Meron lamang siyang kakaunting kalaman patungkol sa mga bagay patungkol sa Diyos. He is from very humble beginnings. Siya po'y nagpasimula sa isang napangababang kalimula. He is of the tribe of Benjamin. Siya po na sa tribu ni Benjamin which was the smallest tribe of Israel. Na ito ang pinakamaliit na primo sa bansang Israel. And he was of the smallest family. At siya rin ay mula sa isang napakaliit na pamilya. Of the smallest tribe. Sa pinakamaliit na primo. And he had sent on a mission. At siya ay inutusan tayo sa isang misyon. His father's donkeys are missing. Dahil ang isa sa mga asno ng kanyang ama ay nawawala. And he is sent in search of what is missing. At siya ay pumaroon upang hanapin ang bagay na nawawala. But he is embarking on a journey. Ngunit sa kanyang paglalakbay. That he is completely unaware of. Ay may bagay na hindi niya naunawaan. Because he's looking for what he was missing. Dahil siya ay nagaanap sa isang bagay na nawawala. 
But God had a plan he knew nothing about. Ngunit sa kabila ng lahat ng iboy may plano ang Diyos sa kanya na wala siyang kaalam-alam. He is simply searching for what he is missing. Siya ay tunay na nag-aanap sa isang bagay na wala. In the midst of his journey, sa kalagitnaan ng kanyang paglalakbay, he encounters the man of God. Ay nasalubo niya ang tao ng Diyos. What Saul does not know na isang bagay na hindi alam ni Saulo is that God had already chosen him. Ay ang Diyos ay pumili na sa kanya. He did not ask to be chosen. Hindi niya pinili upang siya ay piliin. He had no idea he was chosen. Wala siyang kaalam-alam na siya po'y napili na. But he was chosen of God. Pero siya ay pinili na ng Diyos. He's not looking for it. Hindi po ito ang bagay na kanyang inahanap. But it is looking for him. Pero ito ang naghanap para sa kanya. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. In the midst of his service, at sa kalagitnaan ng kanyang paghahanap, he makes a great discovery. Ay nagkaroon siya ng dakilang discovery o bagay na kanyang nasukunan. That God has a plan for His life. Na doon ay naunawa niya na ang Diyos ay may magandang plano sa kanyang buhay. That He could never imagine. Na hindi niya halos maipaliwanan. Samuel tells Saul. At si Samuel ay nagsalita kay Saul. Stay here with me. Manakili ka, dito sa akin. And I will tell you. At sasabihin ko sa'yo. All that is in thy heart. Lahat ng mga bagay na nasa puso ko. That means na ang ibig sabihin that there were things in his heart na may mga bagay na nasa kanyang puso that he did not know. Na hindi niya nalalaman. Only God knew na ang Diyos lang nakakalap what was in his heart. Kung ano yung nasa kanyang puso. Saul was not aware. Walang kalamalang si Saul Saul did not know. He did know the one of the lalaman ni Saul. But Samuel begins to tell him. Ngunit si Samuel ay nagpasimulang nagsalita at nagsabi sa kanya. You are chosen by God. Ikaw ay pinili ng Diyos. God chose you out of all the nations. Pinili ka ng Diyos sa dinami-dami ng mga lahi at bansa. You will be the next king of Israel. Ikaw ang magiging susunod na hari ng Israel. And you will be powerfully used of God. At ikaw ay gagamitin ang Diyos isang mga pangyarihan pagkamit. At that point, magpasimula sa panahon na yun, Saul has to make a decision. Ay doon si Saul ay kailangan magkaroon ng desisyon. Will I accept what God is telling me? At ang gabing mo mo ang sinasabi ng Diyos sa akin through the man of God. Sa pamamagitan ng tao ng Diyos. Or will I pull back in fear and doubt? O apoy, auulong at magtakaroon ng pag-aagap-agap patungkol sa ibagay na ito. And say, oh no! At sasabihin ko sa aking sarino, hindi! I'll be a part of that no crowd. Ay pagiging kabilang na lang ako doon sa hindi ng grupo. I could never do that. Hindi ko ito magagawa. I could never be there. God must have made a mistake. Or he could accept that God knows him better than he knows himself. He has to accept the fact was in my heart. Na alam ng Diyos ang nasa kanyang puso. He has to accept that God na kailangan tanggapin niya na ang Diyos knows him better than he knows himself. Na mas kilala siya ng Diyos kaysa pagkakilala niya sa kanyang sarili. And so accepts the plan of God. Kaya nangyari tinanggap ni Saulo ang napakalagilang plano ng Diyos. And Samuel begins to tell Saul how this will happen. At ipinaliwanag din Samuel kung paano ito magagalap sa buhay niya. He tells Saul, At sinabi niya kay Saulo, God will give you a new heart. Ibigyan ka ng Diyos ng bakong puso. God 
will change you. Babaguhin ka ng Diyos into another person. Sa isang bagong tao. You will not stay the same. Hindi ka na magiging katulad ng dati. But you will be changed. Hallelujah. So you will be changed. You will be a different person. You will be the person God wants you to be. Oh, hallelujah. And here's how it will happen. You will meet a company of prophets. They will be coming from a place of worship. Here's how you will know that you are in the right place. They will be singing. They will be dancing. They will be praising. They will be playing music. They will be speaking. As the Spirit gives ability. That's how you know. You're in the place. Where the power of God. God changed Saul 
into another man. God gave him a new attitude. God gave him a new spirit. God gave him a renewed mind. By the spirit of God. May I only tell you today. You are not here by accident. You are not here by accident. You are here. Because you are searching. It 
will happen to you just like it happened to Saul. You're in the right place. You're surrounded by people. Once we were lost, but now we're found. Once we were blind, but now we see. We need preachers. We need Bible school students. 